Today I want to talk about toolbars. Lots of times people tell me, I've lost my toolbars, I can't find them. You'll never lose a toolbar. Microsoft has made sure that you will never lose a toolbar. This is why. Go to view, go to toolbars, and there they are. The two most important ones are standard and formatting. You'll notice that there's a check mark there. That means that it's at the top. If you click on it, you see the formatting one disappear. Go back to view, go back to toolbars, and click on formatting. There it is again. However, we cannot quite see the formatting and the standard toolbar because they're in one line. So here's what you do. Go to Tools, go to Customize, Show Standard and Formatting Toolbars on two rows. Put a check mark right there. You don't always want it to show full menus, but you do want to show full menus after a short delay. So you want to click right there. So now we have the menu toolbar, which is this, format, tools, data, window, help, and you will not get Adobe because I have that installed on my computer. This is your standard toolbar, new, open, save, permission, printer, print preview, spelling, research, Cut, copy, paste, three things you can never live without. Formatting, undo, redo, hyperlink, auto sum. And you'll notice here this little menu. When you drop it, when you click on it, you have more immediate functions, and then you have even more functions underneath this one. So whenever you see these little menus, you know that there's something else underneath that. This is ascending in alphabetical order, A through Z, descending, Z through A, chart wizard, drawing, and the most important, the zoom tool. Here, if you need help, you can click there. And here, right here, show buttons on one row. If I click there, it goes back to one row. If I go either here, show buttons in two rows, same thing here. You can also add remove buttons. You can customize them this way as well. If I wanted to add pivot table, you see it's been added right there. If I want to remove it, just click right on top and there you go and it's removed. The other thing is that with the toolbars, you can do this another way. You can go to toolbars. Oh wait, when I was here at the standard toolbar, I noticed something was missing. Tools, customize, show screen tips on toolbars. You should always have this on because now when you put the mouse over it, you see these little yellow balloons. Look at that. So you know exactly what they are. When you press pass the mouse over them, absolutely perfect. All the way down. This is your formatting toolbar. Formatting meaning this is where you, you this toolbar will make your, your, your fonts pretty. This will make your fill right here. This is a drop down. You can change the fill. And now this has become a floating palette. Same thing here. When you see these little lines and you put the mouse over, you will get a four headed arrow. This is a floating palette, and here we get a drop down. So, in case your spreadsheet is too big, you can uh, float it around and use it that way. But you never lose a toolbar.
not ever. You can go to toolbars and go to customize this way. You can put the mouse in a blank area over here or even here. Right click and go down to customize and go that way. You can also find your toolbars under customize right here. Standard and formatting. If I remove the check mark, there goes the standard toolbar. If I remove formatting, if you put the check mark back, it's there again. So you have several different ways of finding your toolbars and bringing them back. They're never gone. They never disappear. They don't go off and get jobs. They don't read the newspapers. They don't, they're, not, they're not online checking their Facebook pages. They're not sending out tweets. They are right here. Now, if you add something to your toolbar and you don't like it, click right here. It'll reset the menu and you're back to normal again. So just remember, view toolbars and your toolbars are always with you. And it doesn't matter if it's Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Outlook, Project, whatever Microsoft project it is, always go to View, go to Toolbars, and your toolbars are never far away. See you in the next video.